اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم ٹوڈے مائی ٹاپک از ڈاکٹر سی وی رمن اے سیلیبریٹی جینیئس ان دس لیکچر آئی ول ٹرائی ٹو اٹمپٹ دی کوسچنز گیون ایٹ دی اینڈ آف دی لیسن اٹ از پیج نمبر 88 آف یور ٹیکس بک چنا سیکنڈ پلیز اوپن یور ٹیکس بک اینڈ ٹرائی ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دی کوسچنز اینڈ دیئر آنسرز کوسچن نمبر 1 از وائی واز دی ووی C. V. Raman undertook in 1921 important in his life. C. V. Raman undertook the voyage to Europe in 1921 as a representative of Kolkata University to attend a science meet. During, it was during this voyage that he observed the water of Mediterranean Sea having dark shade of blue. Later on, he found the answer to this question which won him the Nobel Prize for Physics. So this voyage was important in his life. It was this voyage which proved a turning point in the life history of Dr. C. V. Raman. Question number second is, Raman was just an average student at school and college. Is this true or false? Give reason to justify your answer. statement is given raman was just an average student at school and college if it is true then you have to cite reasons to justify your, your answer if you consider it is false still you have to justify reasons uh, you have justify uh, reasons for your answer to me this statement is false Raman was not an average student at school and college. He was in fact a brilliant student. He did his matriculation at the age of 11 and graduated from the Presidency College Madras at the age of 15. So the statement is absolutely incorrect. It is false. Question number three is why could Raman not pursue higher studies abroad even though he was very keen to do so raman couldn't pursue higher studies abroad because a british doctor disqualified him on medical grounds he said that he that is raman would not be able to withstand the harshness of the english climate question number 4 give an example to show that ramana's interest in science did not lessen even when he started working as an accountant general students we already know that after completing his graduation after after completing his post graduation Raman took up a job in Kolkata as an assistant accountant general. Still his interest in science didn't decrease. As he spent most of his spare time, leisure time in the mornings and evenings in the laboratory of the Indian Association for Cultivation of Science. This shows that his interest in science didn't decrease question 5 why was there no indian flag flying when raman was awarded the nobel prize how did this affect him students we know that c v raman was awarded nobel prize in 1930 At that time India was not a free con- country it was under the British imperial yoke that was the reason that there was no indian flag flying there Raman saw himself sitting under the British union jack he felt very sad tears started flowing down his face question number Six. Raman was proud to be an Indian. How did this manifest in his personal life? 
there is no doubt that raman was proud to be an indian because he didn't stop wearing his indian turban in place of a european hat he continued to wear his turban even after winning the nobel prize question number 7 The world was not slow to recognize the importance of C. V. Raman's achievements. What are the other important awards he won apart from the Nobel Prize? We know that Dr. C. V. Raman won the prestigious award in sciences, the highest award in sciences that is Nobel Prize. and sinus in 930 besides winning the nobel prize he was awarded bharat ratna in the year 954 he was conferred the knighthood by the british government he was also awarded the international lenin prize in 957 i can understand the difficulties the most of you graduates have to face today how was this possible for raman Sivi Raman knew poverty and misery. He could appreciate the pain of being poor and miserable because he had personally suffered this pain. He had personally suffered the pangs of poverty and misery. Since he had faced all the difficulties of a poor boy, it was possible for him to understand most of the difficulties being faced by the graduates in Indian in indian society question number 9 i admit success in life is always to the intelligent or the strong what other qualities according to raman bring success in life yes dr c v raman admitted that success in life is not always to the intelligent or to the strong it is a bit of gamble but those who have got their minds right and those who know their job always succeed in life what was ramana's philosophy of life dr c v ramana's philosophy of life was very simple he believed that one should not be disappointed with failure in life one should enjoy the common things in life good lunch and dinner a good evening walk in the open fields and other beauties of nature he wanted us to appreciate whatever we see around us that is our environment question number 11 three or four qualities of nature inspired raman all his life which are they we know that instead being a man of science dr c v raman was always inspired by nature he was very inspired by many qualities of nature they include nature's wonderful gifts her remarkable ingenuity her resourcefulness and her infinite in finite variety question number 12 raman had unusual views about patriotism what was it Raman had unusual view of what patriotism what was it we know that according to C V Raman patriotism is love of the earth it is the earth and the things that grow on earth that sustain us and feed us 
the earth and the things that grow upon the earth make human life possible love of one country is love of the country's earth Question number 13 the main purpose of Ramana's address to the graduates was to there are three choices given and we have to attempt the correct appropriate choice number one is advise them inspire them impress them the main purpose of Ramana's address to the graduates was not to advise them or impress them but it was to inspire them was to inspire them he want to inspire the children through his address question number these are the enough for today thank us stay blessed have a nice day